Hello, what is up, internet? Welcome to the Grudge Foreign YouTube channel. We are doing another rocker reaction. That's right. So, for first time viewers of the Grudge Foreign YouTube channel, I'm Grudge Foreign. I am a rocker. I react to things. I am in a classic rock revival band called Lipstick Generation. That kind of sounds like 70s and 80s rock. And so, I see a lot of videos on YouTube of like people reacting to music that I like. And so I discovered these guys who react to classic rock bands. And I heard the song in their intro, I'm like, oh, that sounds pretty cool. I should listen to that. And then I found out it was their original band. And I'm like, whoa, that sure is neat. And so since I'm trying to showcase some lesser known bands on this channel and also to turn the tables, haha ha, reactors, I am now reacting to you. You didn't see that coming, did ya? Someone's reacting to your band. You've been reacting to other bands. Well now you're being reacted to. Ha 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 ha. Take that, Andy and Alex. Ha ha ha. But yeah, so just so you know where I'm coming from with this, uh I'm viewing them as um largely as peers. Uh, they're a little bit younger than me. I've been doing the classic rock revival thing for about a decade now. Um, had some high highs, some low lows, some successes, some failures. Um, and so I know that um, there's a potential for this to be a pissing contest. I was just like, oh, my classic rock revival band is, uh, is better. Uh, I'm not going to do that here. Uh, I'm just going to say... Um, you know, it's unscripted, this channel, so there might be reactions to songs I've already heard, but it's just off-the-cuff thoughts. And I pause throughout for the sake of, uh, you know, avoiding copyright infringement. Um, but I've already heard this whole song. I like this whole song. Um, but you'll get to hear uh, my thoughts as the song progresses. So, off-the-cuff, very loose reaction to Kings and Culprits, Feel the Love. Uh, let's do it. So, right off the bat, um, these guys understand arrangement, understand the importance of when to scale back. Uh, the, you know, the the beginning um, where you get that hey, it sounds very millennial. Maybe it's because um, you know the voices are higher pitched, and it definitely sounds like kids making this music as opposed to the the burly tough man of the '70s making their classic rock. But when I first heard the song in the in at the beginning of their YouTube videos, uh, their reaction videos, I thought, "Huh, what classic rock song is this? I haven't heard this before," because it sounded very familiar, like it was on the tip of my tongue. And then to find out it was their original uh, music or one of their original music, um, I was I was very impressed with it, and especially like a little bit weirded out with how many of these songs they were hearing for the first time and how the band naturally sounded classic rock. Like, dude who had never heard more than a feeling sounds this classic rock naturally is weird to me because even though I love classic rock, you know, I spent years studying and honing my craft to get that classic rock sound because it's so easy to stumble into more modern sounding things. So the fact that they naturally stumbled upon this having not heard Detroit Rock City is like, is... Just so it's clear, it's not a it's not a dig against the band for not having heard these songs because you shouldn't be expected to do scholarly research on music from 30 years ago about some dude who just really wanted to get laid. Like it's not your job to do scholarly research on that. But the fact that they naturally came about this sound, or maybe it was deliberate, I don't know. It's still very impressive to me. Um, but yeah, we have so much more song to go, so let's keep it going. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so what I'm what I like about this is that uh, it sounds distinct and unique, and it doesn't sound like it's aping any one particular classic rock band. It's sort of an amalgamation of a bunch of different bands. It's definitely not on the heavier side of things. I would call this 
like early 70s in, in terms of style. Um, free, if Free was fronted by someone not as burly and macho, which once again, no offense, you don't need to be as burly and macho as Paul Rogers. None of us are. The man is a god among men. So don't hold yourself up to that standard. He's like, you know, Leonidas in 300, just like this totally jacked dude. You can't be Paul Rogers. It's fine. You don't want to be Paul Rogers. Be you. Um, but it's... Get, you know that that youthful energy, um, and by the way, I'm not much older than these guys. I'm only thirty, so you know, calm down. I'm not like, oh, you kids, get off my lawn. Um, but the youthful energy really adds a fun dynamic to it, and uh, the the melody, you know, obviously, um, a little bit blues rock esque, but it's it's a very tight, well constructed melody, and I love the double vocals. They complement each other very well. Just yeah. All around excellent. Alright, yeah, and uh, I pause my videos because I don't know what the copyright on this is. I, I literally just pulled it up. I would think. It is hilarious if I get a copyright strike on this video for reacting to some dude to react to stuff. That would be hilarious. Will it happen? It might. I don't know. I didn't look at it. But anyway, um, you know, a very, like, 70s bridge there. Just excellent. You know, nice little rhythm change. They brought it down a little bit. Um, once again, killer, killer vocals. Uh and uh, yeah, for the for the fans of their channel, um, sorry to annoy you by pausing the video so often, but I, I, I'm new to the YouTubes, or rather, I'm not new to the YouTube. My band has been on YouTube for a long time, but I'm new to the reacting thing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just an old 30-year-old guy who doesn't know what he's doing with them, their reaction vids. All right, back to the song. Feel the love. So, that's a brilliant chorus. And I know so many um, more modern musicians would be furious at that. Because, you know, there's not that many words in the chorus. And it's just position of power saying the, the, the title of the song as the chorus. That's fine to do. That's great. Uh, rock bands, don't hide from pop hooks. Embrace them. And what you guys are doing by just embracing hooks is fantastic. You're not muddying it up. You're not overcomplicating it. You're just saying, what is going to make this part shine the most? What is going to make the most impact on the listener? And so many bands focus on what is fun to play rather than what is fun to listen to. And you guys are just, you're fun to listen to. So, yeah. Um, the, once again, these reactions are unscripted. So even though I've heard the song before, I don't know what I'm going to say going in. Going loose. Loose cannon off the cuff, but yeah, great stuff. Keep it going, boys. And baby girls, I don't know who's a fan. Ah, oh, man, that's just great. Like, freaking, uh, what generation is this? Gen Z? I'm a millennial. Uh, you guys would be Gen Z, I think. But, like, they hear, like, a Gen Z or just, like, belt out a bluesy, soulful, like, cry for love. That's, uh, that's so... So the things, I would love this song whether or not it was done by, like, young people. Like, if I just heard the song, I, I, like, that's why I looked it up. Because I didn't know it was their band. I just thought it was a cool classic rock song that they reacted to early on in their career that they decided that should be the theme song for the channel. No. It's, 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 it's OC original content. And it's good original content.
So I will say that little breakdown right there um, was the most, I'd say, modern part of the song. One of the things that um, used to irk me very early on in my career, um, you know, I, I say career like I've actually been successful music, uh, yeah, uh, and I'm once again, I'm being too hard on myself and being too, you know, beaten up by myself and cynical. I've sold plenty of CDs and had decent success, uh, so I need to not beat up on myself. But anyway, um, escaping from, um, you know, psychological examining, uh, getting away from my ego and back to the egos of these guys. Haha. -ha. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys are, are nice. But anyway, um. Uh, back, back, back to the point I was trying to make before that terrible, terrible tangent that made me look terrible. Uh, terrible, but I still think LeBron James is the best player in the NBA. Anyway, rambling aside, point I was trying to make before I said all the stupid things was that uh, when I was doing my modern classic rock band, I tried to make sure no modern influences crept in. I wanted to keep the classic rock pure. Because uh, there were a lot of bands that I heard that were mainly modern bands with like a hint of classic rock in them. And I wanted to get the full-on classic rock sound. Um, I wanted to be something distinct so it wasn't repeating any one particular band. Um, but I wanted to not sound like a contemporary band in terms of um, production and songwriting. I wanted it to sound like its own thing and to only have influences of older bands. That was the goal. Um, and that isn't necessarily what you need to do as an artist. And so with that section right there, that was uh, more akin to something... Um, trying to think of uh, a band that that would be comparable to. Uh, shoot, why am I blanking on the band name? Uh, the 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 band that did the the pumped up kicks, uh, which I'm I'm blanking on currently. Uh, I know I'm going to be yelled at in the comments. Uh, which by the way, I think that is a great song, but it kind of reminds me more of of their stuff. A uh, foster the people. There we go. I remembered. Uh, but I'm sure you'll still at me. Um, but that was sort of a foster the people esque breakdown. Um. Which sounded good. It sounded good. Uh, and, but it's like, you know, the one aspect of the song where I'm like, oh, I can tell this wasn't actually made in the 70s because of, you know, that aspect to it. It doesn't mean it's bad. and doesn't mean that, you know, it might not have even been their goal to sound like the 70s. Um, but I will say that is a modern element and that is something that I noticed. Not a negative uh, but it's just, it is something, as I'm commenting on what I'm hearing, that is something that I heard. That, yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. That's a good, all right. Back to that room. Yeah, and uh, the hay at the end also foster, foster the people esque, but but yeah, I would say um, great song, bravo. I the the thing is, I'm not like um, how do I how do I say this? I'm not like a super fan of the channel. No, it's just like I'm. I'm not, uh, I didn't do extensive research. I've, you know, I see a few of these guys' videos in my feed. I like them. Their commentary is pretty cool. Um, but I don't know too much about them necessarily. They seem nice. Uh, and I want to feature lesser known acts on my channel more often. Um, because, yeah, you know what? It's not necessarily good for the algorithm. Uh, but I think it just, it's, it just keeps things genuinely interesting, and, uh, I, you know, maybe it'll get some people to check out the stuff. I know this channel's still small, the videos aren't getting that many views at this point, so it's nothing really impressive at this point, but I think it's just, it's cool to, you know, take the time to focus on lesser-known acts. 
and uh, and give them a spotlight and 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 treat them with the same respect you would a major artist. Because every major artist was a lesser known act at one point, and there are so many great songs that never really uh, see the light of day. So, you know, maybe my channel will blow up, maybe it won't, um, but maybe, you know, someone scrolling through the videos will see this and want to check it out and see what it's all about. And so, um, you know, hopefully this encourages you to give more music a chance, and as, uh, you know, a fellow classic rock revival artist, you know, I salute what you're doing. I wish you the best of luck. Um, you know, if you ever just want to talk shop, um, let me know. I'd, I'd love to just have a chat as someone who's, you know, done a similar thing for many years. And, uh, you know, offer uh, the advice and things to avoid uh, the mistakes I made, what, uh, what you know, what not to do. But I'll start with the things that worked really well and what to do. Um, but, yeah, wish you guys all the best, uh, you know. Maybe, maybe you'll react to one of my songs and uh, make me look bad. But seriously, wish you all the best. Good stuff. Thumbs up. A-plus song. Keep it up. And uh, yeah, YouTube things. Like, comment, subscribe, all the things. That is the video. Thank you so much. And cut.